Welcome to Back Day. Before we get into anything, we got a little something special going on. This dude, huge dude, bodybuilder, has competed shit like that. He has his own little brand here. He's uh, showing it off to uh, all the people here, trying to get some sales, you know what I mean? Um, friends with the, uh, with my boss. And I'm about to go up to him in a second, show off the supplements a little bit, give him a little like, you know, a tiny little shout out. I know I don't have the greatest and biggest audience, but a little something helps. And you can see how fucking jacked this dude is. So I'll see you in two seconds. All right, look at this big man right here. He's so tall, I'm so short. Give me a little leg flex. Give me a, ooh, Jesus. That's a big man right there. Look at this whole little setup he got. This is cool as fuck. Well, you go through like a little, uh, a little preview of all all the supplements you got. A little quick. Uh, what, you, what you see here is basically is the basic that you need mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. terms of like supplements, you know, for workout, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. wellness and everything. You don't have to be make things too complicated. Okay, mm -hmm. you got the pre-workouts, mm -hmm. something you can take before workouts, mm -hmm. of course, and you have um, the test now. It's mm -hmm. a natural testosterone booster, about 15 different ingredients that's designed to help you, I know, stay on. And you have the Pazno, it's a non-stimulant uh, capsule for pump, mm -hmm. BioCrea, plus it's actually monohydrate creatine, mm -hmm. which is, we are the only one that have this in flavor. You're not gonna find it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Glutamine, you know what is it? Yeah, need some glutamine. Branched amino acid. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't mix with those. Man, you got like, are your uh, proteins 40 grams per scoop, or is that just in the the single servings? 30, uh, 30 gram per scoop. Okay. Also, it's still in the single serving. You get 40 gram of. Oh, per serving. That's more than and the 25 per scoop in most proteins. Yes, that's a lot. We got 30 gram of protein out mm -hmm, of it mm -hmm. from natural ingredients and high um, um, uh, aminos ratio on there. Mm -hmm. That's where you get all the protein. This is really cool, man. Well, go, what's the, uh, where's the, here it is, Bio Labs. B Nutrition. This is my stock in the bottle. Oh, you yeah. See, you see plasma in the metal. I like the pump. Notorious. Oh yeah, the the mental one. Mental I saw that in the, I saw in the goodie bag yeah. that you gave me. There were some of those. Is that like a nootropic? Yes. Ah, yeah, I take you Alpha know, Brain. Oh no, man, yeah. you try these too. I, I'm going to. I'm I'm really excited to yes, try those. Focus, yeah, when I saw oh, those, I was excited. You need the energy. That's yeah. what I need for my pre-workout. This is cool. Yeah. This is cool. Look how professional this looks, bro. That's so cool. Look at you like moaning on there. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget your meal. Always. Yeah. Get your meal on time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, the that's why he got right there. Yeah. And you got the little smoothie at the smoothie bar. Oh, yes. That's right. This is what I'm. This is what I'm thinking right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With my almond butter and bagels, mm -hmm. and protein right there. Only the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's the what's the barcode? What's that go to? That take you straight to their website. There you go, guys. Scan that motherfucker right there. There you go. All right. Well, I appreciate you, man. Oh, look. And he got the little samples. Oh, this, yeah, we got some simple right This there. one tastes good as fuck. That one, oh wait, it's not focusing. That one tastes good. If you guys are gonna buy something, I go with that one. At least from what I tried. The BCAAs were good too, but like that one especially, really good. The flavor, right? Mm, the flavor was good as fuck. You, right? yeah. mm -hmm. All right, well, I appreciate you, man. I'll, I wish you the best luck in your, uh, in your guys, supplements. I'm sorry. You got me in the middle of that, so I, I did, stop. I did. That's, this was horrible timing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh. All right, look at this little, focus, bitch. Look at this little goodie bag. Got some whey, and he hooked me up with a little bit extra, the uh, the mental one, so nootropics. I'm excited to try that, but look. He was in a, a hoodie, so you couldn't tell. Look at the size of this man. Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> How I'm trying to be, bro. I guess use his code, code favorite. If you guys want some top tier supplements, and he also gave me a, a little a little serving of uh, his pre workout. Gonna try that later. Tell you guys how the pump is. Mix it with some baking soda. See how that is. I uh, actually just to get a unbiased review. 
You guys, I know, I know this might sound crazy. I'm not gonna take baking soda today. I know, I know. Don't hate me, I'm sorry. I know I say every day take your fucking baking soda and you're fucking retarded if you do not take baking soda. But you should be taking your baking soda. But um, literally just throughout the day, I'm about to walk up to this man and ask him questions all the time. I was just picking his brain. He had to go deal with a, a customer. Uh, people are flocking to that shit, bro. It's crazy. But um, I'm going, I'm just gonna keep picking his brain because this is something that you should be doing every single fucking day. Every time you see someone who's bigger than you or um, has the body you want, whatever it may be, anyone that's ahead of you whatsoever, you should be asking them all the questions underneath the sun. Because how the fuck are you gonna learn if you're not talking to someone who knows more than you? That's the number one way of um, figuring out shit that you need to know. Because you don't know what you don't know. You know what I mean? You need to learn this shit and you don't even know what you need to learn because there's only so much on YouTube, you know what I mean? There's only so much you can find. And the things, the, the, some of the things that I teach you, like baking soda and uh, Tribulus, DHEA, shit like that, there's like a handful of things. I didn't learn from YouTube. I learned from the big guy in the gym. I literally, the main... The, the things that give you results, I did not learn from YouTube. I mean, other than your training and diet, blah, 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 you know, the basics. I didn't, the, the things, you're just not gonna find everything on, on uh, YouTube, man. You know what I mean? You know, there's some super important things that you have no clue about, but the big guy next to you does. Ah, first meal, I haven't eaten it because I've been talking to that fucking big dude for like an hour, bruh, just picking his brain on everything. Handful of supplements that I needed questions on, gave me some answers, and, you know, a whole bunch of shit. But um, first meal of the day, Mickey D's. I was running late to work. If My boss, if you hear this, I, did, I wasn't late. I, I was lying for uh, uh, comedy. I wasn't late, I swear. Um, <laughs> but um, I was running late. So, had to quit. Had, got to, uh, had to hit the quick Mickey D's. You know, the McDonald's app is essentially amazing if you're fine with being unhealthy as fuck and having a little bit of cancer. Three dollars in change for two double cheeseburgers, which is 48 grams of protein. I just rounded the 50, because you know I need 50 per meal. 50 grams of protein, plus I think it's about like 850 calories. So like eight, 900 calories, which is a lot. But for a first meal, putting all that shit in my stomach is gonna like really fuel me for my future workout in a handful of hours. But, um, yeah, that's it for the first meal. I will see you at the next meal. All right. This is exciting. Pro probably not for you, but for me, very exciting. Let me to show you two things. So, Fredo. First off, shout out Fredo. Um, great dude. Love meeting him. Uh, friends with my boss. All that. Go buy his supplements. Uh, they looked very good, and I tried a few very good tasting uh, and we're gonna see about quality soon because this is all pre-workout. I know it's in an orange juice bottle, it's just I, I had one in my car. And then, well bam, this is all BCAAs. It was filled to the brim. Um, he was, you saw those big ass pictures, that, pictures of the liquid that he had, of the pre-workout BCAAs. He was like, oh, where should I dump this, bro? I was like, hold the fuck up dump it fuck no instantly went and got um my water bottle plus this one for my car so i could fill it up so this is fucking all pre-workout bro some good pre-workout too 
I don't know how he mixed them. Assuming that you're, you're supposed to put eight ounces of water in your pre-workout. So this thing has eight fluid ounces, six servings, six times eight, 48. Well, I don't need to know that actually, but so this whole thing, there's probably like four, five, I don't know, fucking servings of pre in there. Assuming that he did eight ounces per scoop, I don't know how the fuck he did it. It tastes like it has good uh, flavor in it and it's not watered down. So I'm assuming that it, he did like at least the eight ounces or whatever the fuck. So there should be like four or five fucking days of pre in here. Hell yeah, for the free, for the free, bruh. That's crazy. But then BCAAs. BCAAs like help muscle soreness, helps you build muscle faster, shit like that. And I just been chugging the whole thing. I probably should have spaced it out like throughout a handful of days to really get the full effect. But I'm just saying, fuck it. We're drinking the whole thing. I'm not 100% sure, but I think BCAAs also help with hydration. So I don't even need a powering or anything like that today. Because I'm just going to fucking drink the rest of this hoe. It was filled to the fucking brim. I'm going to build extra muscle. Be less sore. Be hydrated. All the greatest things. So, yeah. Once again, shout out Fredo. Um, go follow him on Instagram. And shit like that. I showed his Instagram handle um, in the other clip. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, Fredo. But, yeah. Now I'll see you at the next, um, at the next meal. All right, next meal. Half, half pound of these new chicken tenders that Publix has. I didn't know they changed it. Hot honey chicken tenders. So they look bomb as fuck. Coworkers said it was bomb as fuck. So I cannot wait to try it. A little too many calories since I had McDonald's. If I didn't have the McDonald's, then I would have been like chilling. But gotta try out these meat tenders obviously but um at least 50 grams of protein right there and something that i have to tell you guys this shit's kind of crazy so i'm selling a membership to this dude you know building rapport talking to him all that shit and he just so happens to be one of the main fucking dudes at ibm Google IBM if you don't know what it like. It's, it's a technology company. It works with Pfizer, you know. Fuck it. It's a big ass fucking company. Dudes talk about, yeah, I just got a fucking, uh, what's it called? Just ordered a new Tesla. Just bought my wife a Porsche, shit like that. I'm like, cool. But um, because I want to soak up as much information as possible from this man, I offered to train him. So I'm going to be training this man just to get some knowledge. So pretty fucking cool. But um, so guys, muscles have more benefits than just being jacked and strong. You know what I mean? Fucking, hopefully this dude can help me out, make me a little bit wealthier. That would be cool. But um, membership? Whatever. 50 grams of protein. I'll see you at the next thing. All right. Bad day. Pretty sure that there's no one left here. I don't hear anything. So, uh, it's just us, me and you, here in the secluded gym. But, um, starting off the back day with some push downs, lap pullovers, whatever. I, um, I tried pulling up using the pullover machine. I don't know, I'm pointing like you know what I'm pointing at. But there's, there's a lap pullover machine right there. And I haven't used it in so long because between me and you, my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> but um, I was like, I have, like, that's something that I wish I was able to use like forever, ever since I saw Dorian Yates use it. So it's been a long time I wanted to use it. But now, I kind of figured out how I could do it. Only problem, 
it hits my lats whenever I'm doing it. <laughs> and I'm not like, maybe it's just a shit machine because it's like, I don't fucking know, bruh. But it hits my fucking lats and it's annoying. It's like, I, I don't understand how. There's people bigger than me that can use it. Maybe not that machine, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a garbage machine, I'm not too sure. Because I haven't been able to use one ever. <laughs> but um, so a substitute, which isn't a substitute because I'm never able, able to do the other one, <laughs> is the cable pullover, push down, whatever you want to call it. But um, aiming for eight sets for the workout. I like the eight set volume for back especially, because I feel like past eight sets, maybe nine, like I just don't have the same energy. And I can tell that my like my back is hit enough. Because I'm doing hard ass sets. So like if I was half assing this shit, okay, fine. Then like I would do more. But I don't need to. So only eight doing four exercises, so two sets each. Some are gonna be more strength-based, like the chest supported T-bar row. Others are gonna be just pump-based. But um, either way, I'm not gonna count my reps. I'm just gonna do as many as I can. You know, or like whenever I do a strength-based movement, I'll just do something that I know that I can't really do above 10 reps. I try and hit that six to eight area, but like I'm still not gonna count. I'm just gonna literally can't go until I can't move. I gotta drop set a little bit, that wasn't enough. <sighs> Second exercise, lat pull downs. The lat pullover, push down, and the lat pull down are all for width. That's how I like to think of back, at least. Your like vertical movements are for width, and your horizontal uh, movements are for thickness in the back. So, that's why you'll see me do the pull over, pull down, and then I'm gonna do a T-bar row, and then some type of probably like machine row. I don't know what it will be. That one always, I kinda change up, cause I'm trying to figure out what would be, like what doesn't hurt the wrist, you know what I mean? And once I, I mean once the wrist is fine, 
then I'll just go back to my standard back day from like two months ago or however long it's been since I injured my wrist. But uh, so with those two things, two vertical, two horizontals. That's all I do. And then I have some rear delts in there. Like that's gonna be last, but rear delts are not back. Some people consider them back, but I just, it, I consider it shoulder. It's literally has delt in the name. How the fuck is it not shoulder? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the fuck? I mean, I understand. I understand like it, it, it's a secondary mover. Every time you do a, a row or anything like that, your rear delt's gonna be used. That's why I don't do uh, more than five sets on rear delts. Um, just cause the rear delts hit plenty from those heavy ass T-bar rows from every single pulling movement, you know what I mean? So I don't think more than five is necessary. If you work out how I work out, where it's like some really good fucking intensity, you're not leaving hell reps in the tank and shit like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, oh my God, my legs, they're sore. Let's get into this. Machine row. Two sets, as many reps as possible. This machine's weird, but I like it so much. 
I don't know. I've always gone through phases with this machine where it's like, I don't think I like it. And then I try it again after like, I don't know, six months to a year of not liking it. And then I love it again. And then I start to hate it. I don't know, it's very weird. Rear delts, nothing special about rear delts, you know, literally pump, 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 do a thousand million reps, do it for a long time, that's all you gotta do. If you're doing like low rep rear delt shit, you probably don't have good rear delts, like at all, because I feel like it takes so long for me to be able to feel my rear delts. Like, it takes like a five minute fucking warm up. It takes a long time for me. I don't know about you guys, but like, I have to just pump, pump, pump for a long time. Finally get the feeling properly to where no other muscles are assisting at all. And then, then I start my sets. And then the sets are still a lot of reps because I, I don't think it's really possible to be able to work your rear delts pop properly while um, doing it really heavy. Unless you were gonna do like a very high row, but then you're still bringing your back into play and shit like that. So if you're doing a rear delt fly, I doubt you can do heavy rear delts, at least for me. I don't know about you for sure, but I'm assuming people are pretty, pretty similar. And I know some of you might be going, a lot of reps. Like, what are you talking about? Like, uh, if I do 25 reps, my, that's not in the hypertrophy zone. That is uh, fucking cardio, essentially. You're just building up your muscle endurance, some fucking David Goggins shit. You know what I mean? And it, no. The, the rear delts are a small muscle that can get beat up a fuck ton. Like, be for it, when was the last time you actually were like, ooh, my rear delts in particular are super sore? Never, never. I don't think it's ever been said. <laughs> but um, now how I like warming up, at least on rear delts, so I can feel it, is literally just by like holding it there for a second, really just making sure that I'm feeling the muscle. Cause like, if you just turn your arms a little bit, some different back positioning shit like that, you're not gonna feel your rear delts as properly as if you held it in the right position and then you're like, oh, this is where I need to push from. And like, I just, you know, I do this. Do a little like some short range of motion, just hold it there. Make sure I'm feeling it properly, which I'm about to do. 
Oh, we're not starting the set just yet. I'm so sorry, I'm fucking moaning into the mic. as we get leaner already. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's looking nice. Yes! Finally! We're getting out of fat territory. Thank God for the cut. I hate bulking. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta put on masks. Before you can cut, like, I remember I used to, <laughs> I used to be lean all the time. Not really going bulks, my bulks weren't really bulks, they were very light bulks. I, yeah, the progress really wasn't there, like, I feel like I've made more progress dedicating large chunk of time towards just eat, 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 train, 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 sleep, 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 drink water, drink water, you know what I mean? Be really dedicated towards just really fueling the body because uh, something my 300 pound, 21 inch armed boss said is that uh, we're the biggest alligators in the Nile River. That just so happens to be where the great migration happens. Do you think these alligators are humongous because of their genetics? 
or do you think it's because they are where literally the most food is? Do the math. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, I'm looking at me. An arm pump? That should be crazy. What's the thing they do? Is it here? No, it's here. More lean. The veinage on this arm is going to be nutty. I'm excited for that. I am demolished. You ever get out of a lift and you're like, I am so physically drained and tired that I just want to instantly go to bed? Cause same. I'm, I was jacked up on pre-workout. I'm pretty sure I just had like two servings of the, uh, uh, of that pre-workout that was just in that big ass bottle and because I drank a lot I drank because it was just so good but I just kept sipping on it <laughs> I didn't even realize how much I drank by the time that I looked back at the fucking bottle it was just halfway gone so I was jacked up on pre and I'm still like just oh I'm exhausted bruh okay I'm gonna stop making a habit of driving with the camera in my hand because I just looked that there was a fucking cop car at a red light like the fucking right there like not right next to me they were fucking at a different what do you call it a different light they were stopped at a different light different intersection I don't know. but um they were just right there and I was if they wanted to be a bitch they could have if they looked over, I have no clue if they actually looked over or not, but whatever, I guess. Thank you, cop. <laughs> so yeah, definitely gonna stop doing this. This is bad. This is the, this is against the no hands policy. Do you guys have that in other states other than Georgia? I don't know. Have I said that I'm in Georgia? Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's a law in other states. So, whatever. But, um, yes, back day, pump achieved, fatigue achieved, very, very tired. I'm ready for these next two meals. I've only had two meals. Ooh, this food's gonna be amazing. So I will see you at the next meal. Probably meals. Not just show them at once, make them at once, and just eat it all and get it down. You know, because it's kind of late. But uh, yeah, I'll see you there. All right, for the next meal, we have something crazy, something special. I made myself a real, authentic, genuine, white person sandwich. Look how thick that motherfucker is. <laughs> and I fucking squished that thing. I took a bite already because I'm impatient. And I was, I'm really hungry. 
So I'm very excited to eat the rest of that. And then just to top it off, wha bam Fair life. Ah, fuck, I just hit my bunny bone on my desk. Gotta do a little system reboot real quick. God damn, ow. With all that together, about 200 grams of protein have been achieved. Calories, pretty sure I got plenty. With the bread on this, the sauce and fried part of the chicken tenders, and then the McDonald's, how could I not have enough calories? You know what I mean? I might even be above where I should be, potentially. I, I really could doubt it, but even if I did, my um, it might even be a blessing because you're supposed to like once every week have like a cheat meal to respike the metabolism because your body gets used to a certain amount of food and then it sets the metabolism to that. So if you break the diet, spike all those calories, it essentially resets it to, oh, we have a sufficient calories again. So you can now drop weight. You, you are, so you're essentially gaining a pound to like, I'm just, I don't know how much weight, probably not even a pound, but like you're gaining a pound so that you could lose several pounds within the next week. You know what I mean? But when I say cheat day, I don't mean donuts and everything like that. Me, <laughs> me and my buddy first cut. We, every week, once a week, we thought cheat day literally meant you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> so we would go to the fucking, we'd go the Krispy Kreme, we'd go the everywhere that we want, and we'd get everything. So, and there's like, we couldn't, we would stuff our faces until we like felt sick. It was horrible. We stopped doing that not because we were like getting fat or whatever, but because we felt so horrible every fucking cheat day. It got so bad to where we had like extra donuts and shit to where we would uh we would go to LA at the time I was working working out at LA. Not working there, you know, several, several years ago. But um <clears throat> and we were like, there's just video of us giving out donuts. We got the box propped open and everything. That's like that. I'm trying to use the hand that's holding the camera to like demonstrate, but you know, it's fucking 90 degree angle. Like fucking open up that box, got the fucking lid open and shit like that. And fucking hitting them out to all the people that work there. <laughs> but um, yeah, don't do that. That's what I was ruining every bit of my progress all of it all of it bro <laughs> every calorie every second of suffering for those six days before the cheat day was for nothing and i did that for months I feel like looking back at it, I'm like, you're a stupid fucking 15 year old or however old I was at the time, you know, but like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I don't, I didn't, I don't know how I thought, okay, so lose weight. I need to burn less calories. I mean, I have to burn more calories than I consume. Okay. Let's be really good for six days straight. And then eat 15,000 fucking calories. 20,000 fucking calories. What was I on? What was my friend on? What were, like, did neither of us stop to think for two seconds and go, damn. Maybe the reason we've only lost like five pounds on this cut 
is because we're stuffing our face with food. Nah, that could not be it. <laughs> I'm stupid. But um, yeah, that's it. That's it for the fucking video. I'm so tired. I'm gonna. I've been doing research on that, on the community, whatever. That I'm gonna be releasing. Gonna be using it on school, that platform. Um. It is what Hamza uses. If any of you are into self improvement, uh, that's how I figured out about the platform. But apparently. Alex Hermosi endorsed it the, like a week ago or so. So that's cool. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna set that up tonight and then start adding to it. And then hopefully by the time this video comes out in like a week, <coughs> I will be able to drop it. And then, I don't know. We just continuously add to it, add to it, add to it, add to it. Just keep adding to it. Everyone's in that motherfucker saying, like, oh my God. Like, every, I need an accountability buddy. Who's going to help me? And then someone else is like, I got you. We, I can be an accountability buddy. And then fucking, like, we can all help each other out. We can share secrets and tips. Because, like, yeah, I know a decent fucking amount. It's hard not to after lifting for close to seven years consistently but like i don't know everything that you know you can teach me that shit i would love to learn it's gonna help the videos i'm gonna put that shit in the fucking the course section of the um community and then you just contributed it and helped me and every single other fucking person that's in it so I feel like it's just a win-win overall. We just all help each other. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'll be making money. That's cool. But like, I'm excited to learn about that shit. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm ready to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow for arms.